you as a fighter, you always have your go-tos or whatnot. What is your yeah. favorite and what do you think is the best martial art? If there is so any with, best. With that being said, the best martial art is the one that suits your goals. Mm-hmm. So so you, you can only know what your what the best martial art is if you know what your goal is. Okay. Period. That's it. And so if you want to be good at punching, boxing. If mm-hmm. you want to be good at submission grappling, jujitsu. If you want to be good at taking people down and not getting taken down, wrestling. Um, so with that being said, I always say like there's kind of three superhuman powers I think we should all want to have. And my whole life I've been passionate about the fighting superpower, right? The other superpower is a uh, kind of weaponry, like being good with guns. And the reason this is important is if you had to defend yourself, right? We're all helpless victims unless we can fight. But if our opponent has a gun, then we better also have a gun. We better be better at using that gun than them. And then the third kind of superhuman power that I think we everyone should have and want to have is uh, legal, like lawyers, constitution, your rights. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? So like if, if there's some sort of a discrepancy, something going on, some sort of contention, can you fight hand to hand? Maybe fight with weapons. I mentioned guns, but that would also be included with like yeah. whatever's in the room, whatever you get your hands on, nice, whatever. Yeah. And then when the dust settles, can you back yourself legally? And mm-hmm. so in my mind, I, I, I kind of always sum up those three superpowers is like, man, everybody should be very concerned about those three things because you never know when you're going to have to fight hand to hand possibly need a weapon yeah and then settle the dust in court and hope that you were right yeah (laughs) i mean we're without getting politics involved we see kyle rittenhouse in the news right now Mm. um you know he had a gun he was successful with that gun he didn't die and he was able to get the people off of him but what he did was it legal should he be going to jail for this did he understand the rampant ramifications of those actions like, yeah there's too many gray areas yeah and yeah. so like i say if you don't understand and, and have a full comprehension of those three things you could i mean anybody can go out there on a rampage and just dominate people mm. but is that going to land them in jail and yeah all of a sudden it wasn't worth it so when we talk about the best martial arts you have to have a goal in mind if you don't have a goal then doesn't matter what the best martial art is. So. Let's see. When I think about fighting, I'm usually thinking about not leaving my feet. And the reason I say that is because I, outside of a one-on-one fight, mm-hmm. a fair competition, a one-on-one fair competition fight, I think wrestling or if you have a good wrestling background, you can't go wrong in a one-on-one yeah. because you can get somebody on the ground. And, and in the UFC, we see all-American wrestlers time and time and time and time again win the UFC championship. Okay. So, so, but with I mean, if that's your goal to win the UFC championship, like when you're a young kid, get on a wrestling team. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah, that's that, that supports my point. But if I'm in like the street or I'm at the bar, that's usually where it's going to happen. Yeah. Somebody's going to see you at a party, yeah. and they're going to feel some type of way, and then you know it's going to be more than one person. So for me, I always thought that boxing or track. You gotta have <laughs> you gotta have good wind. Right. You gotta have good feet and just get out of there. Right. <laughs> get Absolutely. out of there, man. Or have a good group of men with you that aren't punks either, you yeah. know? And then you bring weapons into the equation and, uh, and yeah. all of a sudden it's a whole new ball game. Yeah. And and that's kinda of why I talk about those three superpowers is fighting, weaponry, legal. And, and yeah. I wish I was a lawyer. There's no way I'd ever become one. Mm. But it is very interesting to watch how cases play out in court and kind of see why decisions are made certain directions. If you enjoy watching Eric Whalen discuss what he thinks is the best martial art, you may also enjoy the full episode. You can access it by clicking here. Also, you may enjoy this video as well. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.